Hello everybody, um, just coming to do a quick room tour. I have done these before. This is going to be the last one that I do um, from this room because I am moving shortly. Um, I'm moving somewhere uh, for the time being whilst we have our new house um, kind of kind of rebuilt. <laughs> and so in that house I will have a, a purpose built craft room. But, you know, this has served me well for lots and lots of years. I did have to wait. It is a downstairs bedroom. Um, if I just slowly zoom round, that's why we've got the fitted units here. It's a uh, a double bedroom. <laughs> um, I did have to wait for a child to leave home to get it. <laughs> uh, and I've crafted in here quite happily for quite a number of years. Uh, and I'm just doing a quick tour for the people and members rather over on my community group, my Stamping for All community group on Facebook. I kind of like encouraged them to share their crafty spaces yesterday, mostly because I'm dead nosy. I like to see what people, you know, how they have the craft rooms. I just find it dead interesting. So loads of them, well, quite a few of them, loads, I'm exaggerating, not like me. Uh, quite a few of them shared their spaces, some sharing mine. Um, so here we go. Um, you know, uh, it's uh, what I call, the, to me there's two kinds of craft rooms. Okay, There's a proper craft room, which is a working room. And then there are what I call fancy craft rooms, which are for sure. There's nothing out of place. It's all got pretty decorations and stuff like that. And it doesn't really look like a right lot of crafting goes on. Um, definitely a lot of work goes on here. I, I do consider it to be a work room. So, you know, it's not all fancy, state-of-the-art stuff. Blah, blah. You know, it's higgledy-piggledy. It's messy. I've got things all over the place. Uh, they're not necessarily massively organized but it works for me everything's within reach uh my tables are in an l shape and i film on the shorter one over there so everything that i need is within reach all i've got to do is scoot backwards on my chair and i can grab it so it works for me so over here we've got a lovely wall planner it's awesome uh never used it <laughs> i've not even put one single thing on it don't know why you bought it but it looks good. It makes me look like I'm organised. Here is my beautiful Stampin' Up! apron, which was a gift that uh, we received at Centre Stage, which is a leadership event. Um, uh, that was at Amsterdam. And here are my lanyards for the two Stampin' Up! events that I've been to. Um, I am currently at Silver Elite, but I've only been a demonstrator just, just 12 months. Um, so I've only been to two. The first one was in Birmingham last November and the second one was in Amsterdam in April. So those are my, my lanyards and my badges and my I've got my poodle badge, toot toot, and then I've got my pinky badge because I'm also a pinky. And this shows my progress and this one does as well. And this is my little lucky charm. Um, this is a little key ring. This was actually made by Fatima who uh, was a lovely, lovely friend and was part of our team and sadly um, is no longer with us. So that's my good luck charm. <laughs> um, so yeah, this part here is basically garbage, crafty, you know, stuff that you, you keep because you think you're going to need it. I'm really like, I probably won't ever open those drawers again. The top one is full of beads. Flat back pearls, trims, flowers, left over from the days when I used to sell lace and trims. The middle one has my personal lace stashing, which is minute compared to what it used to be. I used to fill three of these drawers, towers, just full of my own laces. I don't really craft with lace very much anymore, so I don't think I've even been in these drawers for 12 months, except to sort them out and tidy up. The bottom one is full of other stuff, you know, you're going to alter it, you've bought it because you needed it and then you put it in a drawer. Uh, this unit here is very much a workstation, it's got my printer on which I use nearly every day, it's got my labelling machine. Oh my goodness, why on earth I spent the best part of three years um, in my previous business sending out hundreds, uh, towards the end it got silly and I was sending out hundreds of parcels a week. And I never had a labelling machine. I used to write them all out by hand. 
what were I thinking? I've got one of these now, so when I send, I'm sending out my customer thank you cards, which, you know, it's getting more and more every month, things like that, um, I've, I can just label it. It's so much easier. I've got all the addresses on a database, press two buttons, and you're away. Boom, it's done. <laughs> Uh, what we got here, I've got some contraband. This I'm going to make a little mini album out of. My little teddy. This is my lovely Techniques folder. I'm going to start sharing tutorials on what's in that. Beautiful gift sent to me yesterday by the lovely Karen McClure. She sent me her birthday wishes cards. And these were in it. I'm going to be copying this. Casing it. Sorry, casing it, not copying it. I'm not going to be ripping it off. I'm casing it this idea so I'm not going to show you what's in it some toiletries that I borrowed from the last Poodler event we stayed in the lovely Arden Hotel in Birmingham and I borrowed those out the bathroom because I felt that I needed them um, perhaps to make a project with you know <laughs> uh, contraband contraband um, paperwork and paperwork I really need to use some of these paper stacks they've been in there I bet I've not touched one for two years. I really need to get a grip. So this is my workspace. Um, this is where I store all my stamps for now. Um, my collection's not huge. I tend to not overbuy. Um, I buy ones I like, but I buy them to demonstrate with. So I try and keep my um, stash um, kind of minimal. I don't go mad uh, because... You don't get your money's worth if you do. <laughs> but if you're stamping up customer, you know you need to go buy them all. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so these are my current stamps. I have actually got a delivery on the way with quite a few more in. Um, my dies. Bearing in mind, I've only been a demo for a year as well, so I'm still, I'm still collecting. Um, my pens. Absolutely love these. Best thing I ever bought the stamping right markers because then it negates the need to have every single ink pad not necessarily when you've got all the markers I've got the ink colour ones and I've got the watercolour ones that's a briar um, this is a beautiful can you smell it? smell a vision uh, lavender pouch bag sent by my friend Geraldine's that sits there to make my room smell nice uh, that's embellishments. I have it in a box so I can just pull it out and put it aside of my desk when I'm filming. This is my Growing Memories and More collection. I'm absolutely loving it and I'm, I'm in the process of making some albums. I will show, show and tell when I've done. So I've got spare Memories and More pocket pages. This is my new stamping tool. It was just a cheap and cheerful one. Um, I have heard a little tiny bit of a Chinese whisper that Stamping Up might be bringing one out. Don't hold me to it. I heard it, you know, kind of on the wind, so we'll see. Um, Post-it notes and things. Down here are my stamp, uh, not the not stamps, the punches. My punch collection is growing um, and I absolutely love. One of the main reasons I joined Stamping Up in the first place was to get my hands on the punches and especially the ones that coordinate with stamp sets. Um, I think they're awesome. Uh, fine liner pens that I've stolen from Alexia, borrowed <laughs> from Alexia um, for my planner, for when I do my planner. Um, that's my computer. I don't have a big full size PC in here um, because I don't know, I just feel like they're in room. So, this is my folder that I work from when I'm doing my YouTube tutorials. I collect and plan and put ideas in here. And I've got a set of 48 ideas that I work from um, and pick and choose. And then I can change them up, use different different uh, stamps or a different cardstock or a different, if it's a, a box template that I've created, I can use a different size to fit something else. But that has a load of ideas in, so I'm not constantly struggling for things to do. These are my planners and my notebooks. I'm getting quite a collection of notebooks. Thanks to my um, team leader, who is um, Sam Hammond. Um, she likes to gift notebooks. <laughs> so I'm getting quite a collection of notebooks from Sam. Um, she's very generous. She's a lovely, lovely team leader. My planners. These, I had that one given by Ali Beth. That one I got cheap in Paper Chase. This is my Stampin' Up! one. This is the one I'm, I use daily now. I love it. This one is all customer information. If they, 
you know, um, order things from me. Because some ladies don't like to use the online system, so they'll they'll ring me up or whatever, and I'll write it all down. And this is kind of a work planner. Uh, that's just full of just garbage that I really really need. <laughs> This is awesome. Um, I can do Facebook Lives using my mobile phone with this holder. And it was 4 99 from Primarne, <laughs> as I call it, or Primark. And it just clips on there. It's awesome. I love it. It's brilliant. Um, those are my certificates of achievement. And that is a table decoration that um, I took from... Um, on stage last November, we were we were given permission to take those. We didn't nick them. <laughs> uh, my photo is my husband that is in Vegas uh, uh, when we got married, and that is lovely, lovely Alexia. My uh, I've got one for pens, one for scissors, and one for tools. I've got quite a vast array of scissors, although I can never find a pair that's sharp. I've got cheap scissors, I've got Tim Holtz scissors, I've got these fancy ones, uh, your fingers, scissors, and I've got my stamping up scissors. Um, I did have some fantastic ones, titanium ones, but my husband nicked them and took them to work. There you go, cat of a hook, haven't you? So down here, stamp and scrub, uh, various other stuff. Um, this is an Ikea. Uh, CD rack at, but instead of having it upwards I have it that way and I've took all the shelving out so that it's like long by narrow so it fits at the back of the desk so those are my inks I don't have the whole collection I don't feel that I need the whole collection because some of the colours I wouldn't use um, I'm not the kind of crafter that has to have the full set of something um, although I have made the effort to buy all of the the full set of the new in colours. Uh, I think I have a full set of the last in colours as well. Um, and the rest I buy as and when I feel like I like the colours. It's as simple as that. And this is the project that I'm on with, which is a mini album. Uh, what have I got here? Ribbons! And my collection of ribbons, quite a few of those are now retired. But I have just done a ribbon share with some of my customers. So I'll be getting some new ones in. And this holder I snaffled from um, Sam. She was giving them away at the Portals Team Retreat. And so I snaffled that. These boxes here are all segmented. And they're meant to be <laughs> for the darbers. And there's a section in there for each darber. And, you know, I labelled them all and stuff. But I get where I can't... I'm, I end up leaving them there because I can't, I'm too lazy to put them back in the box. But, you know, I'm like, well, why am I going to put them in when I've got to get them back out again? So that's my theory. <laughs> uh, my, uh, just bits and bobs. Embossing, glitter, embellishments, stamps that really shouldn't be on the blocks. They should be away in the stamp sets. And then down here I've got my clear blocks. I do have quite a lot of clear blocks. I think I've got nearly two full sets. And I don't do classes, but I just feel like it's good to have loads of blocks. I don't know why. It's one of the, it's one of them strange things. <laughs> Some people don't like running out of DSP. I don't want to be short of blocks. All right. It's one of them. Uh, <laughs> I have... Um, oh, this is... Um, because I do fall under the pootlers, that is a swap that um, Tina... Tina made and I've just kept it because thought it was really really cute those are my stamp my, they're not stamping up those are my um you know who uh distress inks <laughs> which I've had for years but do you know what they've not dried up I still use them now and again not as much as I used to but I'm too tight to get rid of them because they were like four or five quid a piece I'm not getting rid of them I'm not made of money collections of glue embossing paste what's down there that really useful that there let me zoom in where's my zoomer can you see that die cutting machine there i thought it was an ace idea at the time absolute pile of garbage i wish never bought it <laughs> i think i've used it twice it's so stiff it's awful if i could have found my receipt i would have taken it back glue i do like kalal or kolal or however you want to pronounce it i do like it but I think it's uh, got alcohol in it, so it dries super fast. Um, but, you know, 
that's when I'm doing contraband uh, projects. I've got my fine tip glue, love it. Um, it actually has never ever, I've had that since nearly I started demonstrating I think and it's never ever dried up and you know, it's awesome. So here uh, is uh, just garbage. <laughs> oh no, it's not garbage really. I've got myself a mini clipboard so that I can, when I'm doing a tutorial, I put all the measurements on and, and everything's at the side of me. So we don't forget, although sometimes I still forget. So there you go. That is my scrap pile. That is it. And I'll tell you for why. When I used to do lace crafting, I used to save scraps and I would end up with boxes and boxes and boxes full of scraps. So much so that I ended up selling them as scrap bags. So I swore to myself that I wasn't going to do it with paper crafting. So all of my scraps go in the just in the corner of my desk there. And once a week I go through them once a week. If they're really large scraps, they will go back in the drawer from whence they came. And if they're only small, like smaller than say 6x6, six six, I just use them there and then. I'll make a quick card, I'll use them. And if they're really, really, really tiny and I think, well, I've saved that, I bin it. Okay, because I'm not ending up where I'm filing all different colours and all different sizes of cardstock and DSP. I'm not I'm not falling into that trap, I'm not doing it. This is a beautiful card sent by my friend Karen McClure. I'm gonna it's on my desk because I'm gonna case it. I think it's beautiful. These are some um tea bags which are beautiful uh you know herbal ones which I'm gonna wrap and they're gonna go to customers. Trim a scarring. Uh, what's over here and then over here I have my uh, thingy that die cutting machine I've got an electric one as well I'm just waiting for an extra plate that somebody needs to send um, because I've been given that um, because somebody got a new one and didn't need it anymore I've got my big cutter down there, my big guillotine. The big black thing there is a big open out display board for when I do events and then if we just look here, all of these cards here are what I've been sent for the birthday wishes event. So they're getting posted off this week to Stamping Up Headquarters. We did really, really well. I thought we had 300, but I think there's more than 300 there. Uh, bits of lace left over from my lacy days. Projects I've had sent. Angelina sent me that beautiful piggy. That's from Victoria. Um... So, yeah, I've just got some projects on here that I've made. This is my little mini album. That's an internet tablet. Um, yeah, so this is just storage. I think I've got samples in that one. Yeah, three new samples that I've made in there. Um, I can't even remember what's... I think this one's got... No, that one's got my dies in that aren't stamping up. Yeah, like my... Uh, Biggs dies and things like that and Sizzix dies that are non-stamping up. That one's got cello bags in because I go through hundreds of them uh, because of my customer thank you cards. And selection of envelopes. That's just lacy leftovers. Uh, that box there is full of bits and bobs that I've picked up that I can give as customer gifts. Um, sometimes, you know... Um, ladies haven't used the hostess code but I just think I want to give them a bit of summer I've got a big collection of stuff there that's my memories and large memories and more album uh, that blue box there is full of adhesives uh, there's my little light bowl that I made and at the back of there is next month's thank you cards already made spare scoring tool that's all my retired stuff um, this is my DSP. All my main 12 by 12 DSPs I keep in these plastic boxes because I don't want them to fade. Because I've got double doors at the side here, um, it get quite a lot of sunlight in this room and it would fade the papers if they were left out. So I have to put everything away. Um, uh, cardstock here. I don't buy big packs of cardstock because I probably wouldn't use it all. Um, of the coloured ones I use a lot of white and a lot of very vanilla but the coloured ones I don't use loads of so I buy the multi-packs and split them up into colour families like so and over here I've got two more drawers the top one are in colours and then like I say my whisper white very vanilla and those I think I've got black cardstock in 
paperwork for events and I think one of them have some 6 by 6s in. Uh, I've got my watercolour paper there and here I've got some um, card kits and planners as because we are allowed to cash and carry those so if I do a party or an event I've got some, some to hand if anybody wants one. So that's my room. Uh, oh, we haven't done this shelf over here. Doll's house, that is, I, I'm, I'm actually going to be rehoming that when I move this time. Um, I had really good intentions with it and I've never touched it and it seems criminal. It is absolutely crammed full of things that I've collected and bought. Um, to show you. It's absolutely full to the brim of furniture and things and I've just never had time. So that's going to be going. Collection of things that have been gifted from Crafty Friends. That's Alexia's stuff. She really loves the Santoro. So she's got that folder there and it's she's got the full mini stamp collection and those are her uh, pro markers. Uh, down here I've got just tools and bits of flowers that I don't, really don't use anymore. And same down there, other crafty bits. There's my spare chair. <laughs> if Alexia comes in here colouring, the dolls get demoted to the, sh the to the floor and she sits on there. So those are my lovely Tilda dolls that I've had sent by friends and my lovely doll from Jackie Douglas. So out there's my garden. And that's what I film on. That's my tripod. I just leave it there now. And then I just lift it up and put it on my desk when I'm filming. So that's it. We're done. Nothing m mega interesting, but you know, uh, I told them that they should share their crafty space, so it only seemed fair that I shared mine. I better go get some work done now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.